This is William K. Mert, Tom Mert Witness 1, and this is another mobile sign on April 29th, 2023, and we are going to talk about the Whitey Boulder Lookalike Contest. Now, for several months, Timothy Charles Holmesides has had this obsession with trying to say that I look like the dead mobster, Whitey Poker, and he also claims that I really am Whitey Poker. Can't seem to make up his mind. Now, ordinarily, I suppose you could take this as a bit of trolling or a joke or something where you would think that he's not serious about this, but it is just quite the opposite. For Timothy Holmesoth and a few of his key cult members actually have been trying to convince people that this is true, that I look like a dead gangster 25 years older than I am at the time of his death are the same. That I am Whitey Bulger and that I have done all these nefarious things because I am supposed to be Whitey Bulger and associated with the FBI. And as you can see as we progress in this that he goes on and on and on and on with different articles, a whole host of them, where he tries to convince people that I am Whitey Bulger, I am an FBI agent working with the FBI to cover up the murder of Christopher Hell. Uh, because in another obsession, uh, Tim Holmes says, uh, wants people to believe that Neely Blanchard did not kill Chris Hallett, even though her attorney has said that she killed him, and she herself has said that she has killed him. Um, this has led me to consider that something else is going on here with this case. Why is Timothy Charles Holmes Seth not only intent on stating that Neely Blanchard is innocent, Neely Blanchard is not insane, if not uh, or something else going on? What is he covering up? Now, Timothy Charles Holmes Seth is said to have known Christopher Hallett, and he has had some connection with ECLAWS, the organization that Chris Hallett ran. Now, there are others that are associated with Timothy Charles Holmes, Seth, that are associated in one way or another with Neely Blanchard, uh, including uh, Timmy's, for lack of a better word, employer, Randy Lynn Erickson. Uh, she, it is said through Telegram and other social media that uh, Randy Erickson has contacted the defense attorney for Neely Blanchard and offered evidence that Neely Blanchard gave her but that Neely Blanchard would have to sign a release in order for her to do that. And the Florida State Attorney's Office would be very interested to see this so-called evidence if she in fact contacted the State Attorney's Office. As of yet, there has been no proof that she actually did that. No telephone call, no paperwork, nothing. So one has to wonder if this was a stunt meant to confuse the cult and convince the cult that 
um, she had evidence that Haley Blanchard was not guilty, but is not willing to provide this proof to the state attorney's office, uh, and as of yet, not to the defense attorney for what had been turned over to the attorneys at the state attorney as required by law. And so, even to this day, Mr. Holmesath persists, or his ghostwriter, I should say, with the Boulder fantasy. And we basically are left to speculate because of this intense effort to associate me with this dead gangster and engage in such a heavy smear campaign against me specifically that there is something else going on. That Tim Holmeseth and someone within the organization of the phony Pentagon Pedophile Task Force appears to think that I have something uh, that might destroy them or create problems for them if it were to get out. And that may or may not be true. I can neither confirm nor deny that for various reasons. However, preventing me from covering the case or being on social media is not going to stop any truth that may be out there regarding Timothy Holmseth, his associates, or the so-called Pentagon Pedophile Task Force. This stuff may or may not come out in the trial of Neely Blanchard. And I'm going to state here, again, like I have in the past, that Neely Blanchard is innocent until proven guilty. We may all speculate on whether she is guilty or not guilty or innocent by reason of insanity, but in the end, that is up to the jury to decide. It will be the jury that will hear the case, deliberate, and reach an ultimate verdict. And so this useless effort to try and keep me from covering this case and trying to sidetrack everyone with this whitey boulder nonsense, it's not going to work. The truth is the truth is the truth. And it will eventually come out. And then when the truth comes out, the whole says spin machine will have to go to work and spin whatever does come out. And if the verdict goes against the adjudication of guilty for Neely Blanchard, then they have to come up with how to explain that one. But the verdict is not going to be as important as the evidence that is being provided by the state of Florida, which I am getting on a regular basis. There is more coming out. Uh, I have made a number of records request with both the state attorney's office and the Marion County Sheriff's Office and as I get this material it will be put out there and then perhaps we will have an answer as to why there is this obsession for pinning the whitey boulder label on me because it's a ridiculous thing to be doing. These people should understand it's a ridiculous thing they're doing, but they keep it up. And eventually it's going to be their downfall because the truth is going to start getting more and more obvious to people that Tim Holmseth is not serious about fighting pedophiles child traffickers or any of this. He is just interested in spinning fiction and fantasy for the sole purpose of bringing in thousands upon thousands of dollars. And he may not be reaping the benefits of all that money. It may be going 
to his handlers. Now in closing, it is curious that Timothy Charles Holmseth has once again gone into hiding. He has not spoken on video, hasn't done any posting in front of signs or any of that. We have these writings attributed to Timothy Charles Holmseth, but absolutely no way of confirming that they are actually the writings of Tim Holmseth. The problem for Tim Holmseth, whether he's writing these things and producing these videos or not, is that he is still personally liable for the content because it's being put out there in his name on websites that bear his name and so he will ultimately be solely responsible or even criminally be responsible for the content that he has put up there and perhaps at the end of the Blanchard case and perhaps even after the Delphi murder case we may be talking about court dates for the trial of Timothy Charles Holmseth. This is William K. Murtaugh, Mert Witness 1. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification button, and share. And stay tuned as we follow the e clause murder trial to its end. Until then, Air.